Hey guys, it's Kim Jong Lee here, back with another online commentary battle for Rome Total War. This time I am actually playing, um, so yeah, once in a lifetime. But um, I'm playing here as Parthia, this is the EWB battle, and my opponent is Joe. Um, I initially thought Joe was SR, but I, I swear I've played this guy um, while he was under different names. He's been under Roman, Rocky. Um, just to name a few, and now he's under Joe, so, uh, I don't know if he's a clan player or not, um, but I don't think it's SR, because he's a bit too nice to be SR, and he's not, like, super talkative, um, so, that makes me kind of think it's not SR, so, if anyone knows who Joe is, because <clears throat> his skills are pretty good, um, so if anyone knows who he is, maybe tell me who he is in the comments, but... Yeah, I've been trying to find out for a long time and I don't know who he is, so I feel a bit out of the loop, you know. Um, anyway, I have two horse archers here. Um, gold attack, six gold gold archers, two gold gold slingers, um, six gold gold catters, two peasants. And Joe here has six gold gold archer warband. Um, he's got two warhounds, one there and another one over there. <coughs> he's got two chosen archer warband with no upgrades and uh, six headhunting maidens, of course, with gold gold upgrades. He's actually got three warhounds, my mistake. One peasant here, and yeah, I think I mentioned the Scythian horse archers at the start. So, um, yeah, he picks Scythia, I pick Parthia, because I think it's a pretty popular matchup, and I like popular matchups. So, pick Parthia, and Parthia is definitely the less proactive side in this battle because the cataphracts are a lot slower. Um, the only really proactive units you have are the mm, horse archers here, but they're not gonna... I think the Scythian horse archers are a bit better, and um, you'll see I throw them away very early here, um, trying to charge them into these guys. And uh, these ones as well on the other side, I lose them very quickly. Um, these peasants, trying to use them as like a bit of a missile sponge, but um, Joe's a bit too smart for that. So he's probably just going to shoot the actual archers. And I'm not very good at using peasants, so... Some of my peasants are over here instead of at the front. Um, but anyway, these war dogs... I keep forgetting about the war dogs um, in a lot of matchups. Like, I actually didn't count on him bringing war dogs. But I've played against him before as, like, while he was playing a Scythia and he brought war dogs then as well. So I should have accounted for that, but I didn't. So, that was my mistake. Um, these war dogs are going to be very effective just chasing down these horse archers because they have low defense. Generally, you just give them gold upgrades. Um, so, they have low defense and they get eaten up by the dogs very quickly here. Here, I'm using two cataphracts to kill a peasant, which is clearly overkill, but doesn't matter too much. And I accidentally stopped them in the middle of the battlefield, so that wasn't too good, but he moved his archers back a bit. So, I was, he didn't shoot me, so that was fine. Um, again, um, thrown this one away very quick. And this one also got thrown away very quick. As you can see, it's still being pursued by Warhounds, and it's down to 7, because I charged it in and then it got routed, so... I'm already, like, dying at this point. Not doing too good. My skirmish game is kind of failing. Um... <clears throat> So, yeah, the skirmish game is kind of failing, not doing too good. Uh, I'm pushing this peasant around, trying to make something happen, trying to initiate. Um, this horse archer came back, I think, but uh, it's pretty dead. Probably not going to be too useful for for a while. Um, that's it. I've only got this one horse archer as a light cav now, so I'm not going to be able to chase anything around, pretty much. Um, I pretty much just got these cataphracts left, which is fat, slow, so... when I, Whenever I move these cataphracts, um, Joe will have a, a lot of time to respond, pretty much. Um, that's the unfortunate thing about some of these heavy cab units. Give your time, give your opponent time to respond to your moves. So even if you go for something really cool, like your opponent can just see through it very quickly and move to counter that. So that's unfortunate. But, 
got a lot of maidens around and I've pretty much got to make something happen with these cataphracts now because all my light cab units are dead, I'm losing the skirmish and everything is just pretty sad and these maidens gonna be quite good, he's actually quite close to the red line, I didn't notice huh. I think then it might have been possible to go for maybe a push on even these middle two maidens at this point because if I push them, I get maybe a concave, then I can push them to the red line and maybe like just force an engagement there. I don't think it would have been favorable anyway, but it's something to think about. Um, yeah, he's got these Edmund Maidens pretty much spread out everywhere. That's a good good move by him, because um, whenever you go for a push with Cataphrax, you have to push very concentrated. Um, so in one spot, generally down the middle. So if you have maidens like spread everywhere, then it gets it becomes really easy to get the surround, get the concave. Um, that's always really nice. So I see that uh, he's going to get a concave. So I, I I basically try and make it so that he doesn't have the the surround. Uh, generally, things looking still pretty bad. I do catch a few archers though, so I'm not. I, I did get something out of it which isn't too bad, but his war dog's gonna steal my archers here. Not many of them left, but war dog's still gonna eat them up. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, hopefully one of these archers survives and uh, leads these war dogs away from my army. That would be nice. Still got warhounds running around though, so that's really annoying. Um, some peasants here attacking these headhunting maidens. I'm actually happy about that engagement. Um, just because you, you know, you want your peasants to be engaging the maidens if they've got nothing else to do. I caught a few maidens here, so I was feeling pretty upbeat, you know. A um, few free maidens here and there can't hurt. Um, I definitely have the cab advantage at this point, so um, if it comes to like a full-on cab engagement at this point, like my six cab versus his six cab, I'm pretty sure I'll win because. My guys are 27, 27, like 26, 24, like my lowest unit is 24, which is this one here, and his, he's, I've depleted his, there's 19, um, the rest of his are pretty healthy, but he's got one on 19, and some of them are pretty far away, so, <clears throat> I was feeling like I wanted to try and get a cam engagement somewhere here, so that's why I sent this peasant out, but, uh, I kind of forgot about this cataphract unit, and it's gonna die very fast and that's pretty much my hopes and dreams down the drain um, so you're never happy to see Kata get picked off um, but it is gonna get picked off and I'm just consolidating my guys here so I completely forgot about this unit so poor micro by me I've also got these two archer warband shooting down the flank of my slingers here and my archers so that sucks um, I should have reformed facing this way, probably, um, but he brought his units back this way, so I guess it was favorable for him. Um, should have probably seen this though, so reformed facing the wrong direction. <coughs> and um, yeah, while I turn to get my guys in the correct direction, I get shot by these Ithian horse archers. So that, that sucks as well. So right now, I don't have cab advantage, because my maiden here just got eaten up by the maidens and yeah he's, he's still got just chosen archer warband which I think still has arrows uh, no they don't they're out of arrows okay so that's good for me but these archer warbands still have arrows these two here and this one and I'm not sure if this one has arrows this one does so my my archers are uh, totally dead like not gonna get much more out of them. I catch an archer here. I mean, it's nice, but not game winning. These dogs are still chasing me around, so incredibly annoying. And I think they actually. Um, I'm not sure if they actually kill these two cataphracts. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea how the war dog unit actually works. I should probably research that. Because I know they just send their dogs out, but um, they don't seem to be like that amazing for their stats. 
they are good in terms of speed and um, the fact that you don't have to micromanage them so much. <clears throat> That's always nice. But yeah, their stats are really good. Um, DC Thin Horse Archer is exhausted now, so they're not doing too much with the arrows. They're doing a bit. They're doing some work. But I'm pretty much dead. Um, five Catters versus six Maidens with a Concave. Not too good. I see this coming in, so I'll pull my Catters back, but this lets him pretty much kill the rest of my Archers. But there wasn't much left of them anyway, so can't be too unhappy about that. And I actually caught some of his guys charging in that he probably missed microed. Um, but he's gonna get away. I'm gonna miss micro as well, because I thought they would just run away, so I didn't actually bother very, like, trying to micro them. I catched them and killed them anyway. <laughs> um, he's still got a concave though, so... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get an, I'm trying to get a favorable engagement, but it's very hard, because the maidens are faster than you, and, um, I have less cabs, so... That means my options are a bit less. Um, I felt like this was okay though, but he did have two maidens around the sides, so I was delusional. And he gets to surround anyway. And yeah. I pretty much just lose here. Good game to Joe though. I felt like this was a very convincing victory for him, actually. And this isn't the first time I've lost to him. My win rate against this guy, Joe, is very poor. It's something like one win for every maybe like five or six losses so I'm generally pretty sad when I play against him but I mean it's good practice so I do it I do it anyway um, it is a bit disheartening though so I need my win every now and then um, but good game to Joe I was pretty happy with this actually because I was expecting like a clear victory but for him but um yeah average defeat it's, it's okay it doesn't make me look too bad but we'll play to Joe Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I'll see you guys next battle, which will also be against Joe.